Jump! 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 Probe rise! Go up be like a rise! Rising hopper! A jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. Hello YouTube, this is Charlie 426 and today we have the review of the recent SHF Figure Arts Kamen Rider Zero One. Now Kamen Rider Zero One is the latest series of the Kamen Rider line and it's also the first rider to be made in the Reiwa or Lewa era or period. So this is actually a big deal for the franchise as far as I know. So being the first rider for the era, they decide to go back the most basic or simple looking design and the good old fashioned uh, the hopper design or you know grasshopper design. And you can see I am actually pretty enjoying the series a lot to the point where I'm buying like most figures and even to the point where I'm purchasing their converged figure arts as well. I mean com comrade converge, I'm sorry about that. So. Yeah, I'm even buying their small figures as well. Alright, so let's get on to the review. This might be a pretty simple review because of its components, but here we go. So for, let's talk about components. So first of all, we obviously get the rider himself. Very simple looking and really nice touch of green. Not green, I mean yellow, black, and red. Now the yellow section there is like slightly a drop of green. So like it's like really yellowish green or greenish yellow, whatever you like to <coughs> say it. Uh, so hand wise we get some we get we get a good amount of hands but for now the default hands are actually the these open hands usually when you buy a figure arts they the default hands were meaning that when you open the box usually there will be the default hands would be the fist but this time it's mostly the open hands for some reason so hand wise or equipment wise this is all we get of course there is the belt so I will get into that later but hand wise this is all we get so kind of disappointing but uh, if you want to have the attached caliber, unlike how Build or Zeo where you need to buy the motorcycle, in this case, that's not the case. So if you want to have the attached caliber, you have to buy SHF Comrade or Vulcan. Because Vulcan comes with the attached caliber and the shotgun. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good reason to be get those as well. And yes, I have pre-ordered Comrade or Vulcan, Horobi, and Shining Assault Hopper. So I'm really excited for those as well. So hand-wise, here we get, for the right hand, we get this fully pointing finger, which is very meant for a sp very specific pose from the character. And then we get these hands, which are actually uh, holding hands slash trigger finger hands, meaning that these, are, these hands are actually meant for the attached caliber for left and right. And then we actually get fists, nothing too special about that. And then we get these semi-open hands, uh, semi-pointing hands to be more specific, which is also meant for a specific pose. But at least we get it for both left and right. Alright, so let's get on to the articulation. Now if you have bought a recent SHF figure arts, I think you should have a, you should have an idea how the articulation works. But uh, there are some parts that, that I would like to uh, point out as well. So first, the head. Now, uh, there's not much that you can break in this figure. But the only part, if I had to point out that you might need, want to be careful, it, are the horns. Not that these are too fragile. These are one of those parts that can break, as far as I can tell. So yeah, so we have a nice red uh, plastic eyes. These are actually like a mixture of clear plastic on the on the inside. So that's very well done. And we can go down that much, up that much. And the 360 twist on the head is possible, but keep in mind that's a human inside. So in real life, that shouldn't be a possible thing. Uh, Body-wise, we have pretty decent articulation. We have a nice ab crunch going on here, and we can almost go 360 if you force it. So, yeah, I mean, you are. I can go this far without forcing it. So, yeah, I say going 360 might be actually possible, but keep in mind, human inside. So, don't. All right. So here we have the belt. The belt the sculpt has been very well done. Even I, I, I wasn't expecting this much, but yeah, this has been done very well. And inside the belt, we do get the ProRise key, and as, as you can see, I can pull out the ProRise key, and the on the middle, the icon is also moving together, so that's actually pretty well done. So here we have the ProRise key, uh, we only get this opened up version, and yeah, I think it's not fully straight on mine, but that could be just me, but yeah. I do wish they would have given like a closed up version, but oh well, or a different ProRise key closed up so I can attach it on here. It seems like the holster here is able to actually hold a, a closed up ProRise key, so... Uh, who knows, maybe in the, when we get Shining Assault Hopper or maybe other uh, SHF figure arts, they will give provide those as well. 
All right, and of course the front part does not move here. Now here's the legs. Uh, the legs, here's the tricky part. So it should have, it's supposed to have decent articulation, but because of the design of the side armor here, it does get in the way, like colliding right over here. So that is going to be one uh, small problem for some people. But I would like to point out the, how should I say? They did a very good job on how they did the the surface areas on certain areas. They did a good job to make to give that give out that fiber look, and yeah, it really feels like fiber going on here when it's actually plastic. So the legs do have your side swivel going on here, despite having that part kind of colliding with the top part. So the legs can go about 90 degrees to the front, or a little bit more if you force it, and about the same or less than to the back so yeah that's actually one downside because uh, we have the the bottom section kind of blocking here we have more area compared to the front so which is why we have less and these are not one of those things that you can pull down I mean it, there is slightly a pulling down movement as you can see here but not supposed to be like the old ones uh, other than that we have a nice bend going on here and then I believe other than we have another I believe this lower section is supposed to slightly move but not really moving that much and then we have a nice uh, ankle guard moving here we have a nice pivot going on here that's actually a really nice pivot and then we have a toe bend and that's pretty much it for the articulation I mean it can you can technically go to the side but only after you like claim pull it down that much and then go like that so yeah there is kind of like a pulling down gimmick but it's not that easy as you can see I, I have to give a good amount of strength going on here and also for the arm, if I forgot to mention, the arms have your typical 360 twist on the arm. Can go to the side 90 degrees, and then we have a nice 360 twist on the lower arm. And we have a bend that's more than 90 degrees. And your hands are your typical uh, SHF figure art style hands, which which means the ball joints are on the arm, not on the hand like Gunfla. And that's pretty much it for the basic articulation. So, yeah, I mean, I mean at least the figure itself was pretty cheap, if I remember correctly. So... If you're a big fan of these series, you can get this pretty easily. Of course, in Korea, this thing was out, selling out really fast, so who knows. Um, now, the belt, there's no actually pushing gimmick, so yeah, there, so there's not much to show it once you just buy this, or as a review, there's not much I can actually show you guys more, but... Uh, so, the only thing I can actually tell you to is, is that this is a, actually a pretty fun figure to, be, to buy, because it's cheap, and yeah... And this actually gives you like another reason to get a uh, Kamen Rider Vulcan, so you can get the weapon as well. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the review. So, uh, I was thinking of showing you guys poses, but I saw that would just make the review longer. So, yeah. Once again, this was the review of the SHF Kamen Rider 01. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>